Hello, y'all. Welcome to Curry TV. How many of you have visited Kerala before? Honest, be honest, okay? So those of you who haven't visited Kerala before, you are missing out a big time. Go, make your savings and go there and visit that wonderful place, all right? Well, I have a recipe from that area, which is called Parampuri. Can you say that? Parampuri, which is banana fritters, okay? This is the authentic Kerala tea shop style banana fritters. Yes, I know, I got your attention. I do know. This with a cup of tea, my God, you're in heaven, okay? Let me take you over all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe, and then I'll show you how it's made without going to India. <laughs> Didn't I save you some bucks? I know I did, but okay. So for this recipe, I'll be using one cup of all-purpose flour. It could be unbleached or bleached, whatever you want. I'm using unbleached, organic, all-purpose flour, along with a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of sesame seed, black sesame seed, not the white one, black one, and a pinch of turmeric powder. Okay, so, and we will need water to mix. So I got two cups of water ready. And our hero is bananas, or known as plantains. So I got four bananas that are very well ripe. So it's, that's when it's going in here. So let's make the batter first and then I'll show you how it's made. Of course, can you guess what is not here, but it's really needed for this recipe, which is oil. I got my oil ready in my pan for the deep fryer. So if you have a deep fryer, use that, or an air fryer, no problem, whichever one you have. And uh, let's get the batter going, and then we'll show you how it's made, okay? All right, first of all, this is one cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm adding a pinch or so of turmeric powder, okay, to that. Salt is according to your desire, but I'm using quarter teaspoon of salt. Now this is one teaspoon of sugar, organic sugar, that's why mine is kind of looking like crystallized, okay. And this is one teaspoon of black sesame seed, okay, all of that goes in and then stop pouring in your water. Let's take it easy, right? Slowly, let's mix it all in. Make sure there's no lumps in there, okay? What we need is a thick batter. If you have visited Kerala before, tell me which is your favorite place. I love to visit there more. All right, so our batter is ready. Now next thing what we need is our oil to go. So I'm going to turn on my heat. Okay, let that baby get ready. So this is the consistency that I would need. So when I got the two cups of water ready, I ended up using only one and one three fourth, one and three fourth cups of water. So why is that? It all depends upon your flour that you're using. So that's what I got ready. Next, I have ripe bananas. This is really nice ripe bananas, plantains. Not the robust or the ones that we get here, the dole version, that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the green ones that you can buy and then you can ripen up. Let me show you the one that I have. This is the one I got, right? These are nice dole plantains that are ready in your local grocery market. Go there, buy them, all right? And this is really healthy for you. Okay, my oil is ready, so over to our stove, and I'm gonna have a plate ready and a strainer ready with a parch uh, parchment paper or a liner with a paper towel so that I can ex drain off all the excess oil that I don't want, all right? I'll see you there. Okay, our oil is nice and hot, all right? 
This is an all-time tea snack that we all have in Kerala. You don't have to be a Kerala to enjoy the sweet. Just try this at home. You can do it. Okay? So my bananas are already split in half. And what I'm going to do is, let me show you. Okay? All I'm going to do is take this baby, drop it in there, coat it with that batter, right? Okay, so we took our banana, dip it into our batter, make sure it's completely covered, right? And over to our stove. Ooh, that oil is hot. Okay, and goes to the next one. Ready, one, two, and three. Wow. Let's do the next one. Just like so, you do the rest of them till you, you run out of your batter or you run out of your bananas. Okay, we don't want to overcrowd our oil. So I'm going to let this cook for three minutes on each side and then drain them. These babies are ready to come out. So let's do a flip. Right? So I got a uh, strainer ready with a lined with a um, paper towel. So what we're gonna do is get these guys done who are done already. Let's drain them and over to our paper towel. Okay, this baby is done. The main trick with this recipe is you need to have your oil really, really hot. If you have it at a low, medium heat, whatever, the oil will be all sucked into that banana and it becomes such an oily banana fritters. We don't want that, right? That's why this is actually a good recipe where my oil is nice and hot and my banana is nice and thick too so that it will cook in there. And this is ready to come out. You can tell if they are ready to come out because look at this. It's very well coated in there. Along with, look at the golden color. That's with the turmeric. All right. So without going to India, we made our all-time favorite tea t snack, which is parambudi. All right. This is banana fritters, all. And this is one version of it. I'll have another version at a later time. Okay. I hope you will come back and visit us for that recipe. Would you? All right. So I'm not going to taste this. It's super hot. I mean, yeah, but no, no, no. Okay, but this is going to be one of the highlights for this week. So please try this recipe out. Share this with your friends and family, and I would love to hear your feedback. So leave your valuable comments in the comment box below. And uh, have you subscribed? Yes. Thank you. The truth is clicking. All right. All right. Till then, next time. See you. Bye bye.